Hello everybody. It is day one of Stitch Mania 2019. It's already pretty late in the evening and I haven't gotten to my stitching yet because uh, today is May 1st. It is the day before my uh, professional exam. I'm taking an exam on uh, May 2nd which is tomorrow morning. Um, you can see there my study hours that I was tracking. Um, which is a much less exciting spread than my Stitch Mania page here with my plan uh, for Stitch Mania. But anyway, I studied all day today for that, um, and so I'm only getting to stitch for a couple of minutes this evening. Um, but I am getting to stitch. <laughs> and the time unwinding is much needed anyway uh, to sort of relax before the exam. But um, I just wanted to show you my... Uh, my bullet journal here, um, which is sort of a daily planner that I use to track all sorts of things from personal to-do lists to, um, you know, my study hours there to, um, you know, habits like working out or eating well and uh, now cross-stitching. So anyway, I made this page to keep track of what projects I'm going to do on each day for Stitch Mania. Um, what I have filled in here are the projects that are left over from last time I did Stitch Mania. It was, it was actually two years ago in 2017. I didn't do it last year. Um, last May I was pregnant and we also went on a cruise with my in-laws. Um, and so that kind of just all happened right in the middle of whenever Stitch Mania would have been. So I thought about it, but I did not actually do it. Um, but I'm back now, um, and I'm doing what many of us um, with lots of ongoing projects have decided to do, which is uh, if I haven't finished a project in the intervening time since last Stitch Mania, then on the same day of this Stitch Mania, I will work on that same project. And so these ones that are already filled in are the ones that I have not finished since 2017, um, which means that I have finished... Uh, seven <laughs> projects, seven of the 15 projects that I started in 2017 are done two years later. Um, and actually I'm not, not too upset about it. I think that's not too bad. Um, so yeah, on, on these different days, I'm definitely gonna be working on these projects and I have not chosen what is going to fill in the gaps yet. Um, there might be one or two new starts, but I'm thinking for the most part, I will probably fill these uh, empty spots in with projects I've already started. Um, I just don't have a lot of space in my life right now to be um, getting up a bunch of exciting new things um, with my job and my baby and my family. Um, we did buy a house, um, so I'll probably show you my new stitchy spot later in this video whenever my house is actually in order, which it's not right now because I haven't been at my house. I've been studying. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the plan. Um, I have not finished the project that I started on day one of 2017, which is Mr. and Mrs. C. Um, this is a freebie pattern by Brooks Books, and uh, it's still available online. If you Google Brooks Books, Mr. and Mrs. C, um, you can find it. And uh, I, I did that to bring up the pattern again. Um, and so it's there. Um, that's what they look like. They're a little pair of ornaments. Um, and I have made a pretty good progress on Mrs. Claus here. Uh, but Mr. is still looking a little bit like a Smurf um, with pink skin. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put in a few skeins of, or a few lengths of thread on him um, before I wind down and review my formulas again for my exam before I go to bed. So I'll be back to show you that in a second. Alright, I made a little bit of progress on Santa's face and beard. Just filled in some more of these empty stitches. So he's coming along. Um, I only spent about a half an hour on this. Um, just enough time to watch one episode of Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. 
which I have actually watched before, but I liked it so much, and it's so relaxing. I thought it would be a good thing to watch tonight while I'm winding down. All right, I'll uh, see you on day two. It's day two of Stitch Mania, and I'm sitting here with my kitty cat, and we're going to tackle the Sleeping Princess together. Obviously, this is not a new start, um, but I've been working on it for a while, and I thought um, I'll just make her a regular part of my rotation for Stitch Mania. Um, I'm working her on an even weave from Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, I believe this one is called Andromeda. It's a 32 count. Um, and I'm going to work on this mattress. I've got a little less than two hours before I got to go pick my son up from daycare. And so I will spend all of that time stitching. All right, I didn't get very far, but I did stitch for the whole length of the movie. Um, it's evening now. I didn't go back to stitch more after getting my son from daycare. Ended up doing other stuff with my evening. Um, but I had thought I might come back, so that's why I waited to film this. Uh, but I will not. Um, I'm going to go to bed now. And tomorrow is another project. But I will... Uh, I really want to pick this one back up longer term, um, maybe after Mania is over. Today is day three. It's time to work on Fabulous Women. I'm really excited to pick up this one again. Um, I love it, and I've missed it. Uh, I'm done with the middle row already, but I think I'm going to move up to, uh, to the top left now and work on Cleopatra. Um, the bottom row, I have a lot of like adjustments and designs that I want to do on my own and that's obviously very time consuming so I'm going to stick with something that I'm keeping the same as the original um, and that is most of the first row um, so I'll work on Cleopatra today I had hoped for this piece when it was finished that I could take it to work and put it at my desk at work but they recently told us that we're moving to a shared desk space system in my office and so there are going to be one there's going to be one desk for every 1.3 people um, and so we're not going to be allowed to like leave stuff at the desks or claim a desk for ourselves I guess so I guess I won't be able to bring this um, unless I can find somewhere in the common area where it would be all right for it to be um, but at the very least I can hang it here in my home office it's the end of day three I made more progress than I expected. Um, really all that's left to do on Cleopatra's segment is uh, to finish her banner down at the bottom. And then there's a little soldier guy here that I haven't stitched yet. Um, but otherwise, um, she's looking pretty good. For day four, we're coming back to this absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece called Gypsy Mermaid have her here. I've worked on her a bunch of different times but haven't made very much progress each time. Um, this is a Mirabilia piece and I'm stitching it on 32 count linen called Iris from Under the Sea Fabrics and it gives this beautiful sunset effect. I'm very very excited about how this is gonna look and when it's eventually done which will probably be years from now. But we'll make a little bit more progress today. I pulled out the chart to show you what she'll look like when she's done, in case you haven't seen this one before. And I don't think I showed you the picture for Sleeping Princess, which I did two days ago. Uh, but this is her, um, <clears throat> her picture as well. This one was autographed for me by Nora, also a Mirabilia. It's the end of day four. I'm about to go to bed. And I did some of the water and the beginning of this seahorse that's on the left. So you can see um, it's this lighter blue color here and the seahorse. So I'm getting out to the far left side of the chart. It's looking pretty good. 
For day five, I've decided to pick up Santa's Village again, and I'm going to work on the Elves Workshop, which is this cottage that goes right here. The Gingerbread Emporium was already on my Stitch Mania list from 2017. Um, back then, I had just stitched the beginning of this candy cane border, and I haven't even got that one done yet, so I'll come back to this one on day, like, 14 or something like that. Um, but for now, I'm going to add... Um, Elves Workshop. It's the end of day five now. I didn't do a ton, but I worked on this snowbank and this little present here, as you can see in the picture, is there on the table. So that's what I did today. For day six, I'm going to move right over here and start working on the Hot Cocoa Cafe, which is the last cottage in this series. I'm going to work on this little table here. I finished the little table for the Hot Cocoa Cafe. It is so cute. I love it. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> for day seven, I'm coming back to Noel. The Christmas Angel, which is from the 2015 Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue. She was designed by Brooks Books, and I've actually stitched her before, um, and then we had a tragedy happen, and my cat uh, chewed her off at the neck, chewed her head off at the neck, uh, and so I, uh, it really wasn't repairable, so I restitched her, um, and I have finished the stitching, but I haven't done any of the finishing, um, so I'll, I'm going to work on that tonight, and um, probably I'll be adding her hair, and maybe I'll be putting some of the fuzzy fluff on her stole, um, if I can find my fluffy thread for that. I finished her completely. That went better than I thought. Um, it's the next day now, but I did all of the finishing for this, so this has been a couple years in the making. <laughs> um, I think I got the pattern in 2016, so three years, and included in that was restitching her, and, uh, then just having her on my to-do list finish for like ages but she's done and she's beautiful I'm very pleased with how this turned out um, I'll show you the back too which is pretty good I got some pattern craft paper for the back of her head there um, and some feathers and yeah I did put the, I did find the um, fuzzy thread to put on her stole too, so that's there, kind of fluffy, beautiful. There is Noelle, she'll be a beautiful Christmas decoration this year. For day eight I've pulled out Christmas in London by Mirabilia, um, I had a start on this one from last year when I went to the Mirabilia retreat here in San Antonio. Um, I didn't get very far and I'm set back even further now because I had to frog quite a bit of um, stitches in the middle of this group here uh, because I had decided to wash the fabric and um, the brown bled pretty bad on the light colored thread, so I pulled out all the light colored thread to redo. And I actually just started again with this color, um, and then I remembered I'm supposed to be filming. <laughs> so um, this is where I'm at, and I'll work on this. It's already pretty late um, in the evening, so I probably won't work on it for very long, but maybe a movie's worth. <laughs> I forgot to film at the end of the night last night, and I just went straight to bed. Um, but this is how far I got. I pretty much just filled in this area with a lighter thread, um, which is 
one of the ruffles on the back of her dress here. This is the first one for this Stitch Mania that I've really wanted to keep working on. So maybe I'll come back to it when I'm done. Alright, I've got my project set up for day 9. This is Shimmering Mermaid by Mirabilia. And I'm stitching it on uh, Opalescent Angelic. Uh, it's a 32 count even weave from Under the Sea Fabrics. And I've got a bit of a start on her tail and the fabric here. Um, I think I'm going to work with some of the Krennic today. And we'll see how far I get. Well, I'm pretty happy with that progress. I got in quite a bit. I worked mostly with the Krennic. The green here. Um, and a little bit of gold and it's dark teal blue. Just kind of starting to fill in her tail. Looking beautiful. So for day 10 I was working on Spirit of the Christmas Star. I didn't actually show this at the beginning because when I started I was at the cross stitch store and I didn't really want to stop to film something. I had my baby with me and I knew I was probably only going to get in like 25 stitches. <laughs> but I actually did pretty well. Um, I filled in quite a bit of this lower square um, part of her dress here. Um, so I guess just believe me when I say I did make good progress. For day 11 I'm doing uh, this wonderful pincushion design from Hands On Design. Um, it's part of the Block Party series. This is the Mend version. And it has these wonderful sewing implements on it. An antique sewing machine, measuring tape, uh, a tomato pincushion needles and bobbins and an iron and it's different on all four sides uh, of the pincushion and I've only got a small start on it um, I love this design but I haven't been motivated to work on it because I'm not happy with how this the beginning of this measuring tape looks um, I was going up and down in rows of four and I think it makes the stitches look uneven so I think I need to frog all of this and do the tape uh, horizontally. So that's where I'm going to start today. I'm going to take all that out and we'll see how far I get. Alright, I finished doing my frogging. I'm much happier with how the stitches look now that I'm doing them horizontally. You can't really see the variegation as much, but they're even and I think the effect is going to be good. Um, I also did a little bit of gridding to count um, how many stitches there are in this pattern and whether I'm going to make it, and I am. Um, it's going to end right here, just past this second to last mark. Um, but I really felt like before I put this away I needed to be absolutely sure that I'm not going to have to frog everything and start all over again. Um, and it'll be fine. I'm working on Rapunzel uh, from Mirabilia. Got a good amount of progress on this one already. Um, I'll probably work on her dress over here. And I've got a visitor with me. She's enjoying some playtime. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, bud? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So here's how far I got on Rapunzel. Um, I did a bunch over here and I connected this color all the way down to the bottom of her dress. My helper's here again too today. <laughs> um, yeah, so this was actually yesterday um, and I'm ready to put the next project on my frame now so I'll be back in a second with that. So today I'm doing my only new start this month. Um, it's day 13 and I'm starting I'm a Needlesmith by By the Bay Needle Art. Uh, and I'm just doing it on a plain white linen. And we're going to start in the middle and see how far we get. 
I took a little bit of extra time to work on this one and got a really nice start, I think, of the grass and the uh, stalk of the flowers right here. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Um, time to put this one away now though and then go to bed. I thought that since I got my office in order this morning, I would show you my new stitchy spot in my new house. Um, it is this lovely chair over here and a side table that I got from Target. And the artwork came from a uh, at-home store. There's my project, my needlesmith project that I was working on the other day and the rest of my office with my noisy kitty. Sometimes she likes to dump over the trash can. But the rest of the house is out there. I've got a whiteboard to work problems when I'm studying and I've got my Noel Angel hung up here so that I can appreciate her a little bit before I put her away with the Christmas decorations. Ahsoka, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, well, um, over in that corner we've set up again my crafting shelves, which I had in the other house. And I basically kept the exact same order of things on there, so I feel um, very comfortable with that. And that bucket, um, in case you haven't seen them before, um, this is how I store my projects on the scroll rods. All wrapped up like that. They're rolled. Um, one or two of those are empty, but most of them do have an, a project on them. These little shelves are a staircase for the cat to get up the top. She likes to sit on top of that basket sometimes. But right now she's being mischievous. We live a lot further out in the country now than we used to. Um, and that is by far our closest neighbor. But this office is at the front of the house, which faces mostly um, east. So the sun comes up right over there, and you can see our front porch out there. It's a really lovely and peaceful place. It's been really good for our family. So, you know, I just cleaned up this room, right? <laughs> she knows. She doesn't care. For day 14, I'm going to continue working on gingerbread emporium which I've already got quite a bit of progress on this one um, I did make a mistake when I was first working on the building I was doing the red door and I didn't go up far enough on these two sides of the window frame right here so the entire house is one block too short because I went based off of that point and I went up the door to the roof and then back down and realized when I got to these windows um, that there wasn't going to be enough space. Um, and so I solved the problem on the, this wall by making the top row of window panes one block shorter than the bottom. So you can see there, those are two stitches high and these are three stitches high. Um, so I'm hoping that that fudge will get me through it and will it'll not be too obvious next to the house over here um, which I will stitch at the proper height I think I'll be able to get away with it um, it's normally the sort of thing that I would pick out um, but I decided not to do that because at the time that I discovered the mistake I had already done the entire roof and it took me kind of a while uh, at least I felt that way so um, I decided to try to go ahead and fudge it. So anyway, I'm going to try to make more progress on the house and maybe some of the snowflakes in the sky above it too.
Alright, I made a pretty decent dent in the dark green side of this cottage. Pretty happy with that. So, I sat down uh, to work on Alternative Reality by Josephine Wall. You can see the photo over there on my computer screen. And my silly cat, too. He's pushing things off my desk. And I ran into a bit of an issue. So for my Heaven and Earth designs, I've been using the Acrobat Reader on my iPad to mark up the chart as I go. And that reader connected to Dropbox. Um, and I was having a bit of an issue not being able to connect to Dropbox via my iPad. It just, the, lo the login was failing even though I knew that the credentials were absolutely accurate. And after a bit of Googling, I discovered that the issue is that my iPad is too old. Um, the software it's running is iOS 9, um, and that's as high as this hardware will go. Um, I can't put iOS 10 on this iPad, and now Dropbox is incompatible with versions older than iOS 10. So that chart solution won't work for me anymore. Uh, I'll have to figure something else out. If any of you have a method that you really like for using an iPad to mark on a chart, like to cross off where you've already stitched, um, that's not the Acrobat Reader Dropbox combination or anything <laughs> involving Dropbox, I guess, uh, please let me know. Anyway, um, I'm going to put in a couple stitches on alternative reality. Don't know that I'll really get very far. It's more symbolic than anything. Alright, I got in a little over a hundred stitches. Just this block right here in the next column.